All right, let's make this video all about whey protein, baby. Whey protein concentrate, whey protein isolate. What's the best kinds? What do I know about it? And how you can benefit from this amazing superfood. Let's break this all down, man. We'll do a little talk in the car as I go for a nice little drive. What's in it for you to discover the differences and the benefits between whey protein concentrate and whey protein isolate? Also, let's cover pasteurization of the whey protein or milk product and is it necessary is there benefit to it or not i love to provide value to you in this channel and i hope that you understand that like everything that i'm delivering to you is the best of my knowledge and experience to getting me to the point to where i'm at now and i'm constantly learning and growing always remaining coachable and teachable and re re realizing that it's never over my learning experience will never end. It will never stop. I will never stop growing and getting better. So that which I knew a year ago has developed into experiencing so much more now to delivering further and further results, you know, along my, along this journey. Okay. When given the choice, I'm totally against whey protein isolate, right? When given the choice, you can see it in the texture, the taste, and the water solubility. Take whey protein isolate that has been heated up from pasteurized milk and mix it with water in a fork. And then take whey protein concentrate from grass-fed cows, which is cold processed, and mix it with water in a fork. You'll see a major difference. You'll also taste a major difference. So the first thing to look for in, in whey protein is how well does it mix with water? It should mix easily with a fork and should not clump up if it's a very good quality. Let's check this out. I'm gonna use like one and a half, one and a half scoops, which is gonna be about 50, about 20 grams or so, 15 to 20 grams of protein. See, so it's not clumpy at all, just water and a fork, and it mixed together real nice, about 20 grams. That's the first sign of that you have quality whey protein. Whatever you're using, make sure that it does this. You know that it's going to be doing its job, and it's, it's just of incredible quality if that's the case. You should have no clumps in there. The taste should be really good. I mean, it should be enjoyable. It's not sweetened, but it should taste incredibly satisfying. not a lot of like chunky powder left over barely any so that's quality grass-fed whey protein concentrate with just with water let's talk about the differences between whey protein concentrate and whey protein isolate and why I choose grass-fed whey protein concentrate you don't have to get pro mix you can get another brand one thing you can always look for does it produce glutathione Glutathione is the most, probably the most valuable amino acid inside of whey protein concentrate. And most do not have that because it's been heated up so much. But cold processed whey protein concentrate has glutathione and that right there is a sign of incredible quality. Does it reduce glutathione? Removing the fat from the whey, like whey protein isolate does, is it eliminates the key components such as enzymes and immunoglobulin, I'm pronouncing that right, that help with delivery of the amino acids inside the whey component. The, the difference between whey protein isolate and whey protein concentrate is about a 7% protein difference. Meaning that you would get about 7% more protein on the, on the actual nutritional count in the isolate than the concentrate. However, by removing the fat component in the, it, which the isolate's doing, okay, it's removing the key and valuable 
delivery mechanisms of these amino acids and immunoglobulins and key components of the whey protein that are going to allow for muscle development and that make whey a super food. Another example is if you have a cat or an animal, put the two in a bowl for the cat and see what the cat will drink. Which one will the cat drink? The isolate or the concentrate from the grass-fed cows that's cold processed. And I can tell you right now, they're gonna go for the whey protein concentrate from grass-fed cows cold processed because when the milk comes out of the cow, it's a certain way. Now leaving that milk product as close to that way as possible is what's gonna give us the most amount of health benefits. Talk about pasteurization. Pasteurization of milk is something that I grew up in as a kid and I was lactose intolerant. But on that note of lactose intolerance, think about this. If you have milk, you take it out of the cow and you go out to the California desert in Death Valley and you leave it on the desert for 10 minutes, Within 10 minutes, that milk, the valuable key components of the milk are going to be gone. They're going to be completely eliminated and removed from the high heat of the desert. Do you agree? I mean, leave a comment below and call me out. Tell me I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, milk tell me. Milk is heated up in the desert in Death Valley at that temperature. It's going to be completely ruined and shot. Would you want to drink it? I wouldn't. But that is exactly what's happening to pasteurized milk and to pasteurize whey protein. When it says pasteurized, that means it's heated up incredibly, incredibly hot temperatures to speed up the process. See, it's about producing the product in bulk. They want, companies and businesses, they wanna make money. In order to do that, they gotta got produce a lot of product. So they gotta take the milk product from its natural form and get it you know, to its, to its you know, usable form. And by doing that, they've gotta heat it up because that speeds the process up. Now, it takes a lot longer to let it cold process, let it dry and go through a cold process period. That takes incredibly a lot longer. That's not as profitable for a business because it takes more time. So you end up probably paying more money for cold processed milk or cold processed whey protein. Now, this video is not about selling any products. I don't even have a product to sell you, but I can rec highly recommend that if you're looking to build muscle, if you're looking for the anti-aging properties, if you're looking for the most valuable, one of the most valuable, if not possibly the most valuable superfood known to man, it's going to be whey protein concentrate, the milk protein concentrate, okay, from grass-fed cows that is cold processed, not heated up to temperatures of the California de desert and Death Valley. Now, this is a very, very important component to understand. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll put, a, put a, a video where I talked about how I cured lactose intolerance for those who are scared of drinking milk and drinking whey protein concentrate because they're, they're, they're lactose intolerance. I sure was. I was that person as well. But by having it cold processed, the, the lactose intolerant people, unless it's too late, you know, if you're way too far down the chain, you're too old, it, it is possible it's too late, the lactose intolerant people are not going to be affected. I wasn't. This is how I got rid of becoming lactose intolerance. Comment below. Ask like what, you, what your thoughts are on whey protein concentrate. Some people, if they're going to a white protein, nicely better. It's going to have a high protein content. It has a higher protein content, Gavin. I understand. It does. But by removing that key delivery mechanism, which is the fat inside the whey protein concentrate, and having the higher pro co co protein content in the isolate, the powerful and some of the most important enzymes are limited. If you like this video, leave a, do the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here. And leave a comment on what your thoughts are. Definitely going to be reviewing all of the comments, putting some Q&A videos together in the future.